YouTube is changing the terms of service on December 10th of 2019, that's next month. And if your content appeals to children, you might be at risk. And by at risk, I mean a 42,530 US dollar fine risk per video. Yeah, you heard that right. 42,530 US dollars per video if your content is considered appealing to children and you don't mark your videos appropriately. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, before we open up our phones and I show you how to go through and select your videos and choose the right setting for your videos, let's talk just a little bit about what this is and what it isn't. This is all coming down from the FTC. They are coming down onto YouTube and then YouTube is coming down on us, the creators. This is going to affect you wherever you live in the world. It doesn't matter if you're in Germany, it doesn't matter if you're in Pakistan because this is affecting YouTube. It's going to affect you and your channel is at risk if your content is appealing to children. And I keep doing this because it's one of the vague terms that they mention when they talk about whose content is appealing to children. There's not really any black and white answer here, but they do say this, a child in the USA is a kid that's under the age of 13. Now this might change depending on where you are in the world, but if you're in the US, anyone under the age of 13 is considered a child. And of course your statistics and analytics only tell us from the age of 13 and up who's watching your content and not under the age of 13. So you might not even know if people under the age of 13 are watching your videos or not. This gets a little bit tricky. But what you do need to understand is that if your content is created for children, maybe you sing songs or write poems or you do artwork for children, the purpose is for children, it's intended for children, then you are definitely at risk and you're gonna have to mark your videos that your content is for children. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. But if you're not making content for children, you don't have to worry, you're gonna be just fine, but you still need to mark all of your videos as not intended for children. So when we open up our phones, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second just as well. So nobody panic, you're gonna get covered either way, but there are some downsides here for those of you who are creating content specifically for children, and let's talk about those now. Videos that are made specifically for children are no longer going to get personalized ads served on those videos. Videos that are intended for children can no longer have comments, info cards, or end screens. That's gonna hurt. If your videos are intended for children, viewers can no longer download the videos or watch them later. If your videos are intended for children, viewers cannot add those videos to a playlist. And if your entire channel is dedicated to children, you are no longer gonna have access to stories or the community tab, and your viewers are no longer going to get notifications. That really sucks, yeah. And this isn't a matter of if, this is a matter of it's coming starting on December 10th. Now YouTube is covering their own backside here and I can't blame them for that, but they're saying that they can't determine if our content is intended for children or not. That's our job as creators. And I am gonna show you how to do that in just a second, but make no mistake about it, if you mark your videos incorrectly, you could be in for a world of trouble. So if you're going through your entire content library, and yeah, I know this has to be done across your entire content library. Please mark these correctly so you don't have fines, you don't have any problems, you don't risk getting your channel removed, you don't have to go into bankruptcy. Who wants to get hit with this sort of fine? It's ridiculous. Look, I believe parents should be responsible for parenting their children and not the government. And if that's how you feel, go down and leave a comment below. Let me know if you think that parents should be responsible for parenting their children and not the government. I wanna hear from you on this. Vent your frustrations down in my common area. I wanna hear from you, I wanna hear what you're thinking about this. Please keep it family friendly, do keep it PC, but vent away. I'm gonna read every single question and comment, and I'm gonna reply to every single one of them, but watch the language just in case there are kids watching this video, and if that's the case, I'm gonna have to mark this as a video that kids are watching, but kids are probably not watching this video, so that. Now grab your phone, I know I've promised long enough. Thank you for watching up to this point. This is all important information. I'm gonna put links down below to some videos that you definitely wanna watch that go into detail regarding this topic. So grab your phone and it doesn't matter if you're on Android or iOS, the process is exactly the same. We're gonna use the YT Studio app, so go ahead and open up that and let me show you how to mark your videos correctly. Once you open up the YT Studio app, tap on the little hamburger icon on the top left hand side and tap on videos. Once videos open, you're unfortunately gonna have to go through every single video, tap on them individually. Once that video loads up, you're gonna look up to the top right hand corner where you're gonna see the little pencil icon. You're gonna tap on that pencil icon 
Then it's gonna load up another page that's gonna have your title and description, but that's not where you're going to look. You're gonna look on the far right to the little settings icon with the square around it. This is your advanced settings options. If you tap on that, now you're gonna see category, license and rights ownership, and then you're gonna see audience, and this is where the change has to happen. You're gonna see right here where it says, is this video made for kids? Regardless of your location, you're legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act or COPPA and or other laws. You're required to tell us whether your videos are made for kids. Now underneath that, you're gonna see a little drop-down option right above learn more. If you tap on that, you're gonna have the option to choose yes, it's made for kids or no, it's not made for kids. Go through every single video and tap on the one that's relevant to your video. Once you choose the right option for your video, simply close it down, then look on the top right-hand corner and tap on save. Yeah, you have to do that on every single video while using the app. Now, there might be something on the desktop side. If you access a computer, you might be able to do a select all and it goes across all of your videos. I'm not sure, but because my channel is mobile specific, I'm showing you how to do this on the YT Studio app. So you have to change these videos one at a time. But if you do have access to a desktop computer, go check over there. You might be able to do a one selection that covers all of your video, or maybe TubeBuddy's gonna add a feature where you can do it there. I don't know. Today, I'm just focusing on the YT Studio Studio app for those of you who do everything on their phone. It's a lot of work, a lot of tapping. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I, I think this is insane and I wish all of you the best of luck with this. Go through, make sure you mark your videos correctly. Make sure you stay on top of this. Make sure you go subscribe to Creator Insiders and all the YouTube channels. Make sure you follow everybody who's in the know for this sort of thing because uh, this, this could be a disaster for some channels and you can bet that somebody is going to be made an example of, and you do not want to, I do not want to be one of those channels. So please stay on top of this, and I wish you all the best of luck. Now, normally I'm going to close this out with, hey, watch this next video or something like that. I'm not even doing that this time. I just want to urge you to go down, watch the videos, explain this in detail, and then go to your channel and make sure you mark every single video appropriately. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.